Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say to the Capricorns, thank you so much. Thank you for this wonderful support um, from one Capricorn to another. I'm sure all of us is going through now um you know different stages of our lives now different stages of things and i want to say my heart goes out to you guys i want to say thank you thank you for the wonderful support this has been such a wonderful wonderful um time that we are vibrating on this planet and i want to say i'm so grateful to you Capricorns out there thank you um, if this is your first time please like and share these videos please subscribe to our channel um, we're at the last week in July 2017 the week begins from the 24th until the 20 until the 30th um, month of January was the energy vibration of the stars so a lot of stuff as a month of July sorry I'm talking about January <laughs> month of July was the energy vibration from the stars so there is a lot of um, transformation that is happening and there are wonderful positive um, situation that is happening um, a lot of stuff is happening whatever is you know coming out I, I you know whatever is 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 really happening you're going to see that transformation is going to be taking place a lot of transformation will be taking place um it is the week of the emperor and the energy of the emperor is the energy and the, uh, of fire the zodiac energy is going to be fire your focus is balance just as so for you Capricorns who have been going through legal situa situation in your life, you are going to have a triumphant success. A triumphant success because you have justice upright and the ace of sword. It's going to be a huge triumphant success. Whatever is going on in your life, it's going to be a huge triumphant success. Okay, so remember that. So your week is being crowned by... A huge success whatever legal matters that you have it's going to be a tremendously um, huge success okay um as we go forward um, there are wonderful energies it's not one of your best best week because it's as if you have gone through so much and you're so tired at the end of the month okay you are feeling so tired at the end of the month on the 29 something good happens to you because you have another victory success and triumphant and you have overcome whatever burden that is it is okay you have overcome whatever burden that it is so you're going to be dealing with a lot of people just a lot of people coming out in this week a lot of people you'll be dealing with a lot of people in this week you yourself is uh, is is as you know is in your reading, which is wonderful. Whatever situation that is going on with a fire sign, who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian, um, whatever situation it is, you on Monday you're going to win that battle. Whatever situation you have with a Leo. A Aries or a Sagittarius you're going in battle you are going to win that battle you're already in battle you're going to win that battle okay a lot of people think that a five of swords is a loss a five of swords it cannot be a loss because there are always people standing behind there and you are the one who's standing in front with a sword so it says I am finished games over <laughs> <laughs> this is a good way of saying it. Okay, so whatever situation you are having with this King of Wands, is as is you're saying, I'm finished. Game's over. You know, really serious. And this is good because whatever it was, whoever this person was, and uh, you know, uh, for a lot of people, it's going to have the energy vibration of um, a man. It's going to be having the energy vibration of a man. So be aware of that. Okay. On Tuesday, we have the energy of the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a wonderful energy. I love 
the Knight of Cups is really a little Casanova, and uh, this can be a Scorpion, a uh, Cancer, or a Pisces. But it's a young person, and for people with the ages of 18 to 25, it could be someone in that age group. And you know, this person is really loving. He's coming at you and he's coming towards you and he's bringing you um, something. And this is going to be a lot of love. So, a lot of people are going to be connecting with their family. Um, but, you know, the ace, you know, the energy of a good family connection because you have six to seven of cups so whatever this knight of cups is bringing you a lot of opportunities a lot of doors are going to be open and this is good the number seven is one of your energy vibrations too so whatever is happening this person is going to seven seven to seven is your energy vibration seven three times seven so you have seven seven to seven and three times seven is going to be your energy vibration you Capricorn so that means you're on the right part whatever is happening so seven seven to seven and three times seven so what is happening here is that whoever this Knight of Cups is it could be affecting yourself if you're between the ages of 18 and 35 but yet still it is a sense of this Knight of Cups could be uh, your son that is bringing you wonderful good ideas and new beginnings but yet still it could be someone else who is helping you from out of an organization that is going to bring you a lot of luck and success and new things that is going to be opening up and new things in your life so this is going to be extremely good whatever the situation is as we look in the middle of the week it's going to be a positive uh, um, message coming to you whatever that is happening in the middle of the week there is going to be an extreme positive message coming to you and this message is going to be a message coming to the the, the, the ladies so if you are carrying a much heavier um, feminine energy vibration a good message will be coming towards you on Wednesday good messages so, and whatever um, this good message is it's going to be positive it's going to be a, a very positive message that is coming towards so you women on Wednesday expect to, to receive a positive energy on Thursday we have the six of one so I guess that message is good and this message is going to be very good so it's going to be a message that is coming in um it's going to be a message that is coming in um like something is coming in from a very important message that you have been waiting on like from organization or something like that um it's as if you yeah you're waiting on messages you you know you apply for something or again you're waiting for the message and this is it's is going to be good okay um so whatever that was blocking that message um, the energy of justice is going to come in and finally this message is go you're going to receive this message so if as if people were there so something is supposed to happen or you know you apply for something and then people are saying yeah but this person or that or that no um, they have been blocking it for a while and the universe is going to come in in this week and said no this is the end this is what is going to happen the message is going to come through once and for all this message is going to come out and come through okay so this is good because whatever is happening on Thursday it's as if the universe stepped in to make sure that you receive this message okay so if people were blocking you and blocking this message from coming in the universe is going to step in and said hell no it's gonna happen whether or not you want it to happen we from out the spirit world is going to make sure that this happened and good news you're finally going to get the news that you are have been waiting on so this is this is just extremely positive as we look on Friday guess who we have the devil in reverse and this is good so 
whatever that was happening to you and your partner or a relationship or a partnership in business and this is this is a personal situation this week for you Capricorns or personal you're working on a personal level which um, there are things you're trying to balance out in your life and bring balance to certain aspects of your life whoever whatever the devil the energy of your ego or p other people ego that was trying to block to um, block you with whether you and a partner you and your relationship people who you're having relationship with um, whatever is happening and the, you know other people are trying to block you the energies other negative entities can also be blocking you um, people can use negative entities and negative energies to block you and that's when the energy of the devil comes up so whatever this energy of the devil and it can comes up for it as I said discipline um, learning to discipline yourself learning to eat properly learning to know that okay I had McDonald's this I had something this week I'm not gonna have it again you know learning to pace yourself pace things in yourself you're going to find out that it's going to work out okay so whoever that was trying to block you from something or your energy or your relationship or you know people around you it's no longer going to happen it, it is now in reverse okay sorry not my hair <laughs> okay as we go forward we have the energy on Saturday of the five of Pentacles in reverse and you're going to be uh, victorious over whatever that situation was whatever this financial situation was and it's not really financial situation it's hardship hardship in the sense that you have been trying to get your life back together you have been trying to get bring balance in your life say you divorced you have divorced say you have ended relationships say you have moved say you are had a new location and you're trying to get your life back in and you're going to be victorious you're going to be extremely victorious with this situation extremely victorious with this situation so it's going to be good on Sunday whoever was trying to take something from you um, you're going to realize that this is not going to happen um, they're going to be caught um, whoever that tried to um, keep something away from you they're going to be caught they're going to be caught yes they are going to be caught if someone was trying to misuse your information whatever it was they're going to be caught if someone tried to do something against you they're going to be caught so whatever that they were planning on they're going to be caught and that burden say somebody uses your name or misjudge you or try to lie about something or bring in or doing something against you they're going to be caught and whatever burden that you were carrying because they have done something that was unjust to you and um, you were trying you know you knew something wasn't right and people around you you felt as if and you you know within yourself that they were all lying um, they're going to be caught and this burden that you have been carrying is going to be released okay burden that you have been carrying is going to be released because it's the week of justice and you're going to be winning big time so whoever is out there and it doesn't have to be a legal situation for legal situation you're going to win big time but whoever was out there that was accusedly wrongfully accusedly unjustly accused you are going to realize that whatever that people do because right above um, the energy of justice you have the energy of good news is coming whoever what was blocking your information of your thing it's as if some people have you know people are fighting because they think that this is uh, um, this person shouldn't get this and this you know you whoever you are do not have the right to say laws are laws you know and th there are people who are really 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 trying to break down other people and lie and they you know and they did something to affect you and they they lied I, 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 what I'm getting is that people 
lied about things and they 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 bring this lie and everybody was going with this lie and and now finally the truth is coming out because and you know i'm getting it that, that whoever you are out there you know this person is somebody who you know and somebody who you know that was not carrying the, 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 the right energy vibration for you. And what you did was to remove yourself from the, those people. And then because their egos have been trampled on, they tried to lie about certain things. And then this lie became such a huge thing until finally somebody um, looked at it and realized that this person was lying. Yeah. And then finally, that's why justice is going to get this person because whosoever the person was, because, you know, it's you. It's as if you have no idea what people have been lying and speaking bad about you. Sometimes you have an a, a, a inkling that, and, and, and whoever was doing it is an Aries person. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, which is an Aries because Sagittarius people... Sagittarius people do lie, but they lie like with relationship. You know, they, they will lie that they don't have anyone when they have someone, you know, that's Sagittarius. But Aries people have a situation, especially the men. They can go through whatever to make somebody else look bad. And that is so bad because you're so sick. It's sick and unbalanced, you know. And, 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 and they will, you know, they will try to make things and do things as if. And most of the time they lie to do, to get themselves, you know, in certain position. And they lie to other people. So whoever it is out there. And you have been having a you know a time where you have been going through stuff. It is the cause of an Aries person who has been lying, who has you know, and be aware of that person because the person is a lie, a liar, always lie and thief. When people lie, they always dishonest and they always steal. So be aware of this person because this person can go in your house don't understand things take your things lying asking and, and making a mess of things and whatever that he this person was doing he was the devil itself because it's a fire energy so it's an Aries because he's also here and you know if you're having a relationship and you realize that you have been having so many problems in a relationship and you know people your house whatever it is happening this person this Aries person have cost you um this situation and you know if he was lying and whatever he was lying about it's all gonna come out you know because when people lie it always comes out i always tell people i don't have any time to lie because i can't remember i just say what it is and sometimes being too open can also hurt you because people do not understand certain things and i realize that I think like 10% of this world have a normal for, um, for stand from information. It's strange, but people, not all. And I think like the earth sign people, we're more balanced because we're more connected with the earth and we're more intuitive because we have that energy that we heal the earth. So by healing the earth, we heal other people energies. And because of that, we have you know a better point over uh, over some people so let's look back at your week love is going to be wonderful whatever is happening on tuesday love the energy of love is going to be wonderful on tuesday okay let me see um thursday is going to be a very good day in the middle of the week for you women good news are coming in and thursday you're going to get a good news whatever that news is is a very important news that is coming in on thursday whatsoever that was blocking it is no longer going to be blocking it because the tower is coming in and it's like wow no more and this is good whatever situation and here he is back again in your reading on monday this um 
Aries person was in your reading it can be and I'm saying Aries but I'm feeling the energy vibration of Aries because the devil is also here that is coming in with this 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 energy and it can be um, Sagittarius as to be honest because it doesn't have to do with a relationship if, if it's as something to do with a relationship it would be a Sagittarius but right now Aries or Sagittarius is playing this role the Leos are kind of different the Leos are just you know but the Aries or Sagittarius this is what is happening so you know be aware of whatever is happening but whatever it was because you're gonna win you're gonna win whatever this man was lying about or this woman was lying about you're going to win and I'm getting Sagittarius and Aries these people are really sick you know whatever that was happening whatever that they were doing is as if they broke into your house they got information from you and they were spreading lies because you have more information it's as if you were friends or you used to go to each other's place and he copy a key or she copy a key or he or she have a key to your house and you decided that that's sort of a thing and you decided no I don't want to be friends with you anymore for whatever reason you realize that something is you know a little bit off and more than a little bit off and you decide that you don't want to be friends anymore with these people but because of this person ego whether it's the Sagittarius of uh, Aries or whoever because of this person ego what you realize is that the person try um, to put you in a bad light because you don't want to be with them anymore and whatsoever they wanted from you because trust me people do not friend you if it's not something they want people friend you when they want something because they know that there is something that you have that they can also profit from and obviously these two persons whosoever they are the Aries and the Sagittarius is going to have an effect but guess what it's coming to an end okay let's look and see what the universe note is sending you guys because I can go on because there is obviously something that has to do with a Sagittarius and an Aries and um, with you Capricorns and they have been creating havoc in your life okay I love this eternity is a really 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 long time I think we will be able to squeeze everything in relax <laughs> It's like my reading. <laughs> it's like my reading. Okay, whatever that was um, for my angels and guides. It says eternity is a really, really long time. I think we will be able to squeeze everything in, relax, peace, and blue jeans. Oh my God, this is funny. I swear I'll read it. <laughs> This is so funny. So whatever is happening, relax. Um, relax, please, and blue jeans. Okay, this is so, so funny. That's why I call it the funny cards. I always use them at like, you know, when a week is like this. So eternity is a really, really long time. I think we will be able to squeeze everything in. Relax peace and blue jeans I love this card this is just so funny okay we're going further and we're going to look and see what the energy of the E has for the Capricorn people in this week what is the energy that the E has for the Capricorn people in this week hasta la vista baby hasta la vista baby okay I don't know <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hasta la vista, baby. Okay. That means it's goodbye in Spanish. So, remember that song Queen Elsa sign in the Disney movie Freeze when she unleash her magic. <laughs> well, if you didn't act this atonement flicker it's time to let it go walk away and just like you never look back at the trash can you leave at the crumble don't give it a second glance it's time for a new beginning out with the old and in with the new 
hasta la vista baby and I'm saying bye I'm not saying hasta la vista I'm wishing you a wonderful pleasant week and from my heart to your heart I'm sending all you Capricorns love and remember love is the only thing that is real and no matter what is going on in your life um, live each day as the last day of your life and enjoy every moment and I'm saying um, bye until next week namaste